Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Houseborns World YouTube channel. My apologies for my recent absence. I've been fighting off a nasty virus, but you can never keep a good man down, and I am back. So, me last Wednesday, we had the release of Assetta Corsa Competitia Zone 0.6. And just as I was on the cusp of sorting some sweet settings for VR, the game went into fatal error crash mode and I couldn't complete a race and then I was ill. If you don't follow me on Twitter at TVRHouseBorn, then give me a follow. You'll always be up to date with the channel and what I'm up to and what's the current situation. We now have a set of Corsa Hotfix 0.6.3, the important bit. I'm going to put a link in the video description below to what the complete change log is because it's huge. But man, holy flirking schmidt, is this shaping up? To, in my eyes, it is my opinion, you can all make your own, to be the best racer out there currently. The most immersive feel, audio and visuals. Now I've got the VR looking very, very acceptable. With just about 90 frames per second with 14 cars, I'm, I'm like a pig in shit basically. Right, let's share these settings. So if you've got VR and a very decent graphics card, 1080, 2080 Ti, 1080 Ti, perhaps you've able to push these settings. Anyone with an extremely good Intel processor should be able to trump and hit full 90 frames per second. Enough waffling, enough blah, let's get on with it. I've been dying to do this. Now, unfortunately, if 505 or Kunos do ever see this video, will you sort the bloody VR menus out? I'll come to this in a minute. When I'm recording this video, you guys at home aren't going to be able to see what I can see in the headset. So I'm going to have to overlay something from the 2D game to this, but I'm not going to be able to match it up. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to work that out in the video. You don't worry about that. I'll worry about that. For the minute, let's just go through the settings. We're at the main menu screen and we're gonna go across into options. And then we're gonna go across to video and that's where the graphical settings are. Now, because I'm using the Oculus Rift, I'm gonna be running the screen resolution at 1920 by 1080. It's a good resolution for the headset. I'm going to have full screen enabled because if you mirror into another screen, I always mirror full screen so the uh, whatever system I'm using to record can record the screen in full screen. Now, some people would argue about this, but VSync is pretty important unless you've got a monitor with G Sync or FreeSync. If you do not have that technology, if you don't have VSync enabled, you will get screen tearing. And not only that, when you are recording stuff uh, for videos for YouTube, if you record, if your frame rate is higher than what you're recording, you'll miss frames and it will stutter. If your screen is only 60 FPS and you're playing at over 140, you're gonna get tearing, you're gonna get stuttering because you need what VSync will do is match the frame rate of your screen and your graphical output. Anyway, I think we covered VSync there. <coughs> the resolution scale I've got set to 100. Now, this is slightly annoying because at 100 in the VR headset, any of the menus that you see that you've got up in the car or anything that's going on, look out of sync and they flicker. You can resolve this by setting the screen resolution to 101% and that absolutely fixes those menus. But upon doing that, it kiboshes the very, very, very uh, important setting at the very bottom, which I'll come to, which is VR pixel density. So if I put that back to 100, we get to change the VR pixel density. 
So we might make it. <coughs> 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 Without making this an epic uh, graphics menu video, I'm just going to quickly roll through the other options I've got. So view distance, I have an epic. Shadows, I have an epic. Anti-aliasing, I have a high. The anti-aliasing type, I have as temporal. Effects are high. Post-processing is high. Sharpness I have at zero, foliage I have at low, texture is at epic, frame limit is at 90 frames per second because it is relating to the VR headset, mirror view distance I have at 20 meters, the mirror quality level I've got set to low, and the mirror resolution is mid, I could set that to low. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to change that from mid to low. Um, it will decrease the quality some bit, but it's going to save us some FPS. So I'm going to drop that to low. Decided that just there in there. Uh, Pone of visibility set to all. Motion blur absolutely disabled. <laughs> Lock to the horizon is at zero. And this is the magic source. This is what's going to make the headset look absolutely clear. And VR pixel density is set to 120%. That is the magic source. Right, now if you were like me, you'd pretty much be like, sweet, off we go. But at the, just the top of the menu there, you've got a basic. Now on my setup, if I right click on the paddle, right click if I click the upshift on the paddle you come to an advanced menu and I hadn't paid particular attention to these settings before so I think this is quite important as well you've got saturation at 100% or 100 advanced sharpener filter I've disabled the materials quality is high temporal upscaling is disabled volumetric fog I have enabled, bloom quality I've set to low, foliage LOD quality I've set to low and the camera dirt effect I've just left at free. I, I haven't gone too deep into the advanced settings but for anything that didn't seem to be doing a lot I set to low. So that is the VR settings and what I'm going to do we're just going to do a quick VR race uh, I'm going to set the AI to 90%, the aggression to 87 I know uh, the Monza circuit pretty well and we'll see where we can get with 14 cars on track. Um, you'll get some idea of the frame rate. So because Monza is a very, very fast track, we want to go and select the aggressive setup. If I go into the electronics, I'm going to put the traction control down to 1 and the ABS down to 1. Um, back out of that. Uh, the aero, we don't want anything on the front or rear, so we are good to go. So we're in the car. Going double Make sure we're fired up. Moving on. So I'm next to the other Nissan at the moment. Uh, we are in the uh, 2018 Nissan GTR. The Mercedes AMG just in front of me. And uh, I think we have a car off to the side of us as well. Right, we've got to get ready to go. We go, we go, we go, we go, we go. The sound of the twin turbo V8 reverberating off the side walls. We're coming down the straight. We're looking with the braking plates going past, and the BMW's dived inside of us. And again, we have to watch we don't hit the bugger. 
get round the first chicane, everyone's gone round to survive, strain it up, power up, let's go! Uh, with this only being a five minute race, we really are going to struggle to make a lot of places right. Breaking at just after the 100 marker, a little bit early there, but through the first UK, not hitting the bump on our right there. Into third gear here, up to fourth, but we're going to drop back to third for this corner. Let it turn in gently to start the race, we need to get the tyres warm up to fourth again. Again drop to third at the 50 board, turning it in, I'm back on the power. Flat out down the straight now, building speed. The AI are far more aggressive in this update, 300, 200, braking just under the bridge, hard on the brakes. Not too hard, you don't want to bleed too much speed off through this intersection here. Clipping the curb, maximum power, full power down there. Coming back down the next straight onto the hairpin. Well, hairpin tight curve, however you want to see. 300, 200, 100 on the brakes. Feeling the back, kicking about slightly then. Round the corner, back on the power, progressively feeding it in, keeping on the full power now. Can we? We've got to start reeling these in. We haven't got much time. The sound of the car coming off that wall, fantastic. Down the straight, looking for our markers. 300, 200, on the brakes. Any later, and we're going to be hitting the cars in front, really slowing the car. There's been a small tap there. Let's try and capitalise on that. Absolutely flat to the floor around here. We are halfway through, keep it up. Right, can we get a place here? Hard on the brake, hard on the brake. We couldn't go down. He went down the inside. Let's see if we can get up the end. We're not going to get past here, but we get close. Cheekily at the inside, yep, yeah, we got it. Oh, no, he was still there. We are moving about then. Thought we took his place then, but clearly not. Back down the straight. Oh, we have, we got the place, the BMW. Hard on the brake through to balance it in. Now back on the power, balancing it through, back on the power. This is where you can gain some speed. We're catching. A bit late into fifth there, but we got him. We're going to take the draft. Keep an eye on the braking point. 100 on the brakes. Right, man. Leader is on the final lap. Give it all you can. Watching the car on there. He might take us back on. No, we got him clearly there. Try and switch back over. Sorry, 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 sorry. And that, <laughs> that is how it goes wrong. Oh God, I'm leaving this in the video, seriously. Oh, that's bad. That was really bad. This is how this track bites. You take your eye off the ball for one second thinking about something like that 
and the high speed will kick you. I sort of want to do like a 10, 20 minute race because this is my first race in and as you can see shit happens. Get it biting on the power, pull it out. No way was that the best I could do, absolutely no way. Oh guys, I want to do that again, seriously, I want to re-race that. That is not how I race at Monza, just rookie mistake there. I knew, I knew as soon as we saw that car it was going to go wrong. stop it. <laughs> I was listening to the exhaust now then. Oh man. Okay, let's just pop that off. So that concludes tonight's video. Thank you very much to everyone that has been subscribing and watching the videos on the channel while I've been off sick. If you've not jumped into a set of course of competition zone yet, now is the time to start taking a look the game has just become hooked up, it's really starting to gel together and all the people worried about early access, now is the time to start taking a real interest in this. So I haven't even covered half of the stuff I wanted to in this video and we're already way over time. So I'm going to bring other videos broken up in between some other subjects that we need to catch up with on the channel. As you could see during the race I was really gutted about my driving manoeuvre and it just goes to show that people think Monza is an easy and boring track to drive. How wrong are they? When you are absolutely on the edge of your braking point, so as you can see if you make diving manoeuvres you are going to come unstuck and I've got to say that AI in 0.6 are so much better so much improved that you can't dive bomb out breaking them off the racing line anymore because they will take that line as well um, I've really enjoyed this video I'm going to try my best to get more videos out. It's very, very difficult with a day job and just by the time I get to the evenings, time is short. But I love what I'm doing and I want to bring you more and better content. I'd love to do this as a day job. So please subscribe, get me over that thousand, let's start get some revenue in and start taking this channel up and up. Thank you for watching and I will be back in more simulation racing Random videos. Thanks for watching. See you later.